Holocaust Expert Counters Myths About the Holocaust, Northwestern University News Holocaust Expert Counters Myths About the Holocaust Speaking to an audience including family members of Holocaust survivors, Northwestern University historian Peter Hayes last night, November. Anti-Semitism played a key role in bringing Adolf Hitler to power. Not so, says Hayes, who points out that a series of anti-Semitic political parties between 1871 and 1914 got no more than 4% of the vote in parliamentary elections. More Germans became anti-Semites after becoming Nazis than became Nazis because they were anti-Semites. Killing Jews was on Hitler's agenda from the beginning of his political career. Very little evidence indicates that Hitler contemplated murdering Jews until the late 1930s, when he realized that he could not drive them out of Germany territory, in part because that territory kept expanding into areas that contained hundreds of thousands more Jews. In addition, 75% of the Jews killed in the Holocaust perished before the tide of war turned in the Battle of Stalingrad. The few incidences of defiant resistance that did occur all were quickly suppressed at little cost to the Germans, and the survival rates in ghettos where leaders encouraged resistance was no better than in those where leaders chose to work closely with Nazis. Greater popular solidarity with or sympathy for Jews in German-occupied countries could have saved large numbers of the victims. Only 5 to 10 percent of all survivors outlived the Holocaust because individuals protected them. Killing the Jews diverted large German resources from the war effort. The amounts that Nazi Germany confiscated from Jews were dwarfed by those they stole from non-Jews across Europe, especially from the central banks of the countries they conquered. The Holocaust represents modernity and its dangers. Eugenics the pseudoscience that gave a supposedly modern gloss to the attempt at racial purification was the very opposite of modern, Hayes said.